Okay, hello Cloud Gurus. Well, this month we have got some great new courses for you and a new release review where we play around with AWS Deep Composer. And we also have new episodes of Future of Tech, our Deep Composer series, Kubernetes this month, and more. I'm Sam Kronenberg, CEO and co-founder of A Cloud Guru, and I'm really excited to show what we've all been working on this month. Now, if you already have a base understanding of AWS CloudFormation and you're looking to deep dive into all that it has to offer, our new Mastering AWS CloudFormation course from Dan Van Brunt is for you. It's got over four hours of material that's nicely balanced between theory and hands-on learning. No stone goes unturned from detailed tips and tricks to common pitfalls. You'll come away from this course with a really deep understanding of CloudFormation templates, to the extent that the only limiting factor to your templates will be your imagination. We'll also explore various deployment options, including stack sets and nested stacks. We'll dive into macros that allow you to run custom functions against targeted places or against your whole template. And we'll explore CLI tools that can help simplify and speed up your workflow. Throughout the course, you'll get the chance to learn by doing through hands-on labs, including creating serverless Slack bots and building a real-time voting app. To cap it all off, you'll get to challenge yourself by building an advanced macro and then implementing it into your own template. Do you wanna get the most out of Microsoft Azure? Then you're gonna to need to get up to speed on the Azure Resource Manager, or ARM, the tool that lets you automate the provisioning of your Azure resources. Using ARM lets you move away from manual deployments, saving time and improving the quality of all of your cloud infrastructure. In Introduction to Azure Resource Manager, join Rob Moore to take an introductory look at the main ARM concepts, such as resource groups, resource providers, role-based access control, the ARM API, and the ARM templates, all those goodies. We'll also guide you through creating, executing, and debugging basic ARM templates through several different options, including Visual Studio, PowerShell, Azure Cloud Shell, and Azure Command Line Interface. Now, since this is an intro, we're not gonna be going too deep, but you'll gain enough knowledge and practical experience to start using basic templates in your projects. Now, hooray, the days when you would need an advanced degree to practice machine learning are gone, as wide availability of AI and ML tools lead to increasingly wider adoption Expertise in platform services like Azure Machine Learning are going to be in high demand. Our new course from Kevin Hu, Getting Started with Azure Machine Learning Studio, has been designed to give newcomers an entry point. We'll introduce you to machine learning terminology, we'll walk you through the machine learning process, and also get you hands-on with the Azure Machine Learning Studio, where you'll create a simple machine learning model. After completing this course, you'll be able to talk about the relevance of machine learning in today's technological landscape, You'll be able to understand the basic concepts, terms, and steps of the machine learning process and build a simple machine learning model in the Azure Machine Learning Studio. This course is a really good fit for anyone who's interested in machine learning and all the coolness that comes with it, but isn't quite sure how to get started. Now, what can you do with machine learning? Well, the power of machine learning sits behind every Deep Composer composition, and it's time to bring it into the spotlight. In episode two of Deep Composer, Train It Again Maestro, Kesha Williams leaves an exploration of the machine learning lifecycle and generative AI and pulls back the curtain to look at the AWS architecture that makes music generation possible in Deep Composer. It's really interesting. Now, speaking of AWS Deep Composer, Nick Triantafilo gets hands-on with Deep Composer in our latest release review episode. In this episode, we're gonna experiment with the keyboard. Yes, you'll even get to hear Nick play some tunes and run through a demo of the Deep Composer service to see how all of it works before wrapping up with our pros, cons, and verdict. In our latest episode of Future of Tech, Lars digs into the future of food. What does food have to do with tech? Well, we all have to eat, and our global food system is already straining to feed the world. As the population continues to grow and environmental challenges put even more pressure on agriculture, how is cloud technology helping to keep everyone fed? You're gonna have to watch to find out. In our latest Kubernetes this month, we get to look at Docker Enterprise 3.1, Linode Kubernetes Engine, GKE Container Threat Detection, and updates to the StackRox Kubernetes Security Platform. Our deep dive provides a closer look into Docker Enterprise 3.1, as well as the partnership now between Docker and SNCC. We've also got a new installment of GCP this month, and as always, you can turn to AWS this week and Azure this week 
to keep up with all the major developments and releases from the two largest public cloud platforms. Okay, well that about wraps it up for this month's edition of What's New at ACloud Guru. Keep an eye out for even more updates from us next month. But until then, stay safe, keep learning, and keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus.